As part of efforts to strengthen the fight against the use and sale of illicit drugs and to protect officers of the NDLEA against attacks, the federal government has approved the sum of 4 billion naira for the construction of barracks for personnel of the agency. Speaking with journalists on Wednesday at the end of the Federal Executive Council meeting, Abubakar Malami, Attorney General of the Federation, said the NDLEA has made about 18,940 arrests and confiscated drugs with the estimated value of over 40 billion naira. He said this success has made them prime targets for threats and attacks by criminals. Our correspondent, Ms. Ladigun, has the details in this report. At Wednesday's Federal Executive Council meeting, two memos were approved for the award of contract for the construction of barracks accommodation for personnel of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. At the briefing, the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, explained that the barracks was approved to protect officers of the NDLEA who are often targeted by criminals. About 2,904 convictions were recorded. These successes that were recorded, unfortunately, translated to unprecedented threats and attacks on personnel, officers, men, and other ranks of the agency. And then the need has arisen for the federal government to consider the possibility of taking security measures that will now provide the desired protection to the officers and men of the agency. On his part, the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Mohamed Abubakar, says Nigeria is expecting no less than 25,000 metric tons of wheat from war-torn Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine is sending in grains to Nigeria and wants to open a hub. This is probably a stale news just to buttress what you are talking about. Russia is extending uh, the same hand. Now, incidentally, Nigeria has always maintained this uh, uh, kind of neutrality, if you will, we are free to trade, to deal, and work with uh, countries across uh, the, the sphere. Also speaking at the meeting, the Minister of Transportation, Moazu Sambo, explained that more than 510 million naira was also approved for the building and supply of customized fire service search and rescue vans. Sambo said the vans will be used to rescue accident victims from various ports across the country. Um provide for the award of contract for the construction and supply of four customized fire service search and rescue vans for extrication of accident victims for rivers ports, Port Harcourt, Lagos port complex, Tinkan Island port and the marina headquarters all in Lagos. Council considered the memorandum and approved the award of the contract as recommended and reviewed by the Bureau of Public Pro, uh, Pro, 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 Procurement. 510,934,600 naira. Sambo further added that the council has also authorized $9 billion for the procurement of rolling stock operation and maintenance equipment for the Kano Maradi Standard Gorge Rail Line, which is currently under construction. Simisola Atikun, TV360, Abuja.